Hey everyone, I'm Luke from WeldPro, and today we're here to discuss adjusting the upslope and downslope on the WeldPro TIG machines to use the trigger switch that comes with the CK torch or that is pre-installed on the Euromon. Perhaps you've seen the upslope and downslope controls on the front of your machine and wondered what these are for. When using a foot pedal, you'll use your foot to adjust the amperage in real time, so typically you'll want a zero upslope and a zero downslope, otherwise you'll notice a delay from the time you push the pedal to when the arc achieves the amperage that you need. Let's talk specifically about how this is helpful for a trigger switch application. Many finger switch controls don't have a variable potentiometer on them, so we actually need to use the trigger switch with the upslope and downslope to be able to control our amperage at various points in our weld. If you need to increase your heat, you can simply push the trigger and the amperage will gradually increase. If it begins to get too high, let off the trigger and it will gradually begin to decrease. Using this trigger position on off, you should be able to control your amperage within a certain range. It's important that your upslope and downslope are set to an adequate time, otherwise the increase or decrease in amperage will be too quick and often you won't be able to control the puddle. Depending on your application, I'd recommend starting your upslope and downslope at about five seconds. This will give you plenty of upslope and downslope time to play with the arc and experiment with how it will react. For our purposes today, you'll want to make sure your TIG welder is in the 2T trigger mode. This will make things easy to get started today. The second thing is that you'll want to adjust your peak amperage. I'm going to set mine around 120 amps. Using the menu buttons either on the left or the right hand side of the display, you can switch to your upslope control. For this purpose, I'm going to go ahead and adjust my upslope to 5 seconds. You can see the second indicated by the S on the display. Then we're going to use the menu button to move over to the downslope adjustment. Like the upslope adjustment, we're going to set our downslope adjustment to 5 seconds as well. Here's an example of a 5 second upslope and downslope time. Here you can see I'm running at a full 120 amps. Each time I let off the trigger, you can see the arc begin to extinguish over a 5 second period. Prior to the arc fully extinguishing, I go ahead and re-engage the trigger switch to re-establish the arc to its full amperage. You can repeat this process as many times as needed. When you get to the end of your weld, you can simply allow the 5 second downslope to extinguish your arc. Now let's take a look at what happens when we switch over to the 4T trigger position and try to use the upslope and downslope. Pushing in the trigger initially establishes the arc, and then releasing the trigger allows the upslope to carry the arc to its full amperage potential. In the 4T mode, when you press the trigger for a second time, it completely disengages the arc. It is then necessary to press the trigger and release it to re-establish the arc. For this reason, it's better to use the 2T trigger mode. Hopefully this video gives you a little better understanding of what upslope and downslope are. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to leave a question or comment below or reach out to our friendly customer service team that's available seven days a week from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Thanks again, and from all of us here at WeldPro, we can't wait to see what you build with your brand new WeldPro TIG welder.